Hey everybody, in today's tip I'm going to show you how to make your Wi-Fi a little bit stronger if you're having signal issues in your home or apartment. Now the first thing that you have to do is hold down your option key on your keyboard and that would be the one right here next to your command key, the option key, which is right here. Now when you hold down your option key, you go up to your Wi-Fi signal and you do have to be connected, you'll see that you get open wireless diagnostics which doesn't exist if you simply click on your Wi-Fi you won't see it so if you hold down the option key and then you click on your Wi-Fi and click open Wi-Fi diagnostics you're going to get a window that looks like this do not hit continue however go to the window pull down and click scan this will bring up all the Wi-Fi signals that you have in your area and uh, that are kind of conflicting or overlapping with your Wi-Fi signal that might be causing signal issues. You click scan now and this will scan your Wi-Fi network and it will give you your best recommendations for channels. So for example for 2.4 gigahertz Wi-Fi which most of you probably are set up on they're telling you the best channel to put it on is channel 1 or 2 and for the uh, 5 gigahertz it's telling me the best channel is 40 or 44. It's also telling me how many people are on uh, those particular areas and how many Wi-Fi signals. So in my case it's picking up 10 Wi-Fi signals. It uh, has 6 on 2.4 and only 4 on 5. So I'm probably going to get better reception on 5 because there's less uh, interference. But if I am going to use the 2.4 um, I'm going to pick one or two for the channel number. So then the question is, how do you change the channel on your router, right? Well, the first thing that you need to do is you need to go into your Apple menu, System Preferences, and look up in your network area, and here we'll go Advanced and TCP IP. Your router is right here. Uh, that's your router address. And what you would do is you'd copy that router address, and you would go into your web browser and actually paste that router address in there and hit return. Now in my case I have an Aris modem and you would need to know what your uh, username and password is. If you don't know the username and password to your router it's either going to be in your manual which you could download. Go to your router, look for the model number, look it up on the internet, download the instructions and try to use the default username and password. Most of the time they'll work if you've never set it up. But if uh, you don't know you could always reset it uh, your router and then it will default to the automatic username and password if you have to. Now once you do that and you log in, you'll see a window that looks similar to this. In this case I'm looking at the 2.4. So as you recall, um, it was recommended that I should be on channel 1 or 2. And I'm actually on channel 11 here, so I am going to switch it to 1. And you could also see there's an auto setting. I don't use that. I like to actually pick the channel. So I could pick channel 1 or 2 and I would simply hit apply and that would take care of my channel change. Now by doing so I'm not having interference as much with other Wi-Fi's that are in the neighborhood. So that's a very important little tip and again just to go through it to make sure we caught all the little tips and tricks. You hold the option key on your keyboard, you go up to your Wi-Fi, you do have to be connected, you open wireless diagnostics and you get a window like this. You go to window, you click scan and then click scan now let it scan your network and then look at the best channels uh, that you could pick up and then go through the process of going into the network logging into your router change the channel hope that helps you and gives you stronger Wi-Fi signals and uh, have a great weekend and thanks for listening